Isabel Weideman, who's there live with me from Japan. So nice to have you on the program. Congratulations and welcome, Isabel. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been absolutely surreal. <laughs> you know, I just actually said it's nice to have you in Japan. I must be as excited as you are to talk to you. Because there you are, of course, in, a, <laughs> in our newsroom in Beijing. My apologies. Listen, you've got all three of them around the neck. How are you even upright this morning? I know, I got a, I got a full set. <laughs> and look at it's, those. Uh, the first winter Olympian to get a full set at one games. I mean, that's extraordinary. Just to just take the measure of that for us. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been an unbelievable experience. I, you know, I'm I am at a loss of words to kind of describe how I'm feeling and um, just how, how proud I am to uh, to bring these home for, for Canada. For very good for very reason. Good. First medal of the games and then as the bronze and the gold and the silver. Uh, and then I want to talk about what you accomplished as a team. And I want to talk about your race because that team pursuit race was so incredible. We're going to show some of it on the screen. I think you can see it from there in Beijing. Steve Armitage calling. And it was so exciting. You're closing in, you're closing in, you're surging on as a team. And then all of a sudden, out goes Japan. Now, take, put us in that race, Isabel. I mean, are you aware of that? What are you thinking and going through at that moment? Yeah, I mean, we, uh, we stood on the line uh, yesterday and we, we, we just wanted to skate, skate our hardest and we wanted to give it, give it everything we had. We knew that the, the Japanese team has been dominant in women's team pursuit for, for so long. They've, they've taken the, the event to a whole new level. And so we, we've, been chasing them for a very long time and um, we wanted to, to push them. We weren't uh, too sure if we were going to be able to beat them, but we wanted to, we were going to fight. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, they, they fell in the last lap, unfortunately, in the last corner. Um, but all of us are so deep into the, <laughs> we call it the blackout zone, or you just, you don't feel anything, you don't really see anything. And um, so we're, we're so deep into, into the hurt that we had no idea what was going on, I think. One of my teammates saw that they might have fallen on, on one of the big screens, but we, we crossed the line and we saw that it was a, an Olympic record and we knew we'd won and it was, uh, it was just unbelievable. That is incredible. You know, there's some great pictures of you with the flag. Yesterday was Flag Day in Canada, and there you were. You had Flag Day in Beijing for that incredible accomplishment, as you said, an Olympic record time. And then let's look to some more pictures of you on the podium to see that as we did live yesterday, getting those medals, and then, oh, Canada, the national anthem. Standing on that podium with your team, Isabel, Valérie Malte, who went from short track to long track, Yvonne Blondin, who's been so open about her, really her mental health struggles because she had a disappointing games back in Pyeongchang, to have them there with you on the podium as a team, what did that mean to you? Yeah, it's just, it's been, it's been so special. I mean, I think uh, it's, a medal is, is made so much better when you get to share it with your teammates. And I, you know, I've, I've <laughs> trained every day alongside these girls for the last four years. We've shared in each other's struggles and um, to, to be able to, to share this with them and, and to give this to them as well and for them to, to give it back to me. It's, it's just been so incredible to, um, to you know, share, share in that joy. Every time you move, your medals clank, and it's just the most delightful sound. Uh, listen, you have to tell us the story of the golden ticket, because you had a rare loss in the World Cup season. And what did you do, what, what, what did you create for your team members to motivate all of you to get to the podium in, in Beijing? Yeah, last year we, we got the opportunity to skate uh, in the Netherlands in this kind of bubble competition. Um, and we won both World Cups uh, that they, they hosted. Um, and then we lost the, the World Championships to the Dutch. And we had, we had been undefeated at that point. And um, that loss stung, <laughs> stung a lot. We were all very sour. It was a, a quiet night um, at the hotel. Um, and our, our coach kind of collected us together and he said, you know, use this as, as fuel for, for the next year. We have one more year until the, the Olympics and um, use it. You haven't cashed your golden ticket yet. You still have a, a golden ticket to, to bring to the Olympics. And I, I really liked that kind of image and that, that memory. And 
So I, <laughs> I had random yellow construction paper for some reason. And so I made <laughs> golden tickets for my, my teammates and I slid them under their doors at night. And um, we, all, we all put them in our wallet. And it was, it was kind of this, uh, I guess, commitment to each other that we were united under this one goal and that we were going to you know, do everything we could to, to cash that, that golden ticket. You don't need that ticket anymore. You got that gold medal to replace it. Isn't that amazing? Okay, I'm so glad you can see our program as we talk because I'm going to bring up some video now. You've often talked publicly, Isabel, about how much your family means to you, the support as they cheer you on and support you and how disappointing it must be not to have them there with you in Beijing. But wow, we've had some fun watching them cheer you on. Some see I don't know if you've seen this. Have you seen this? I have. I saw it. This morning, incredible. <laughs> okay, who's there? This is when the, when they, it was clear that you're winning the gold. Just talk us through that. Those are my, my parents in the back and my aunt and my sister and, and my, my girlfriends and my, my friends. And it's just, you know, those are the people that have supported me for, for so long. And this video, I, I've watched it so many times over. It's just, it's so incredible. And Who's dogs? The I, dogs are cheering you on too, I think. <laughs> We, we have three dogs, so it's, it's a little bit crazy, and they, they all go bananas. <laughs> I just love this video, too. Well, you have three dogs to go with your meme, three medals. It's perfect symmetry there. Listen, I, I said, great. I, they have been cheering you on, and, and um, we were supposed to speak to them yesterday, but we got overtaken with some big news events and unfortunately weren't able to, so uh, send our best to them, too. Listen, I have no sway. I only have eyes, but I certainly see what's around your neck. And there's a lot of talk about maybe closing ceremony flag bearer, and now you might have to share that with Stephen Dubois, who has the three as well in the short track. Oh, How would that yeah. be? <laughs> I, I just watched the replay like right behind me. I mean, to for the those short track men to, to bring that home, that's it's just so incredible. I, I'm so stoked for them. I have like my heart is racing just watching them. I was so nervous. <laughs> it um, was very exciting, I, but to have three with him, I mean, what do you think? Is that even something that you could imagine? And, and what would that mean to you if that honor should come? You know, somebody asked me that this morning and I, I, I don't even know what I what I think. <laughs> um, I I never thought that I would be leaving the Olympics with with three medals, let alone you know the potentially the opportunity to do that. And um, it's it's just been such a dream here, and I uh, I'm I'm just so so proud and and so grateful for for all the opportunities. Well, I'm grateful for the time with you, Isabel, this morning. Thank you very much for talking to us. Congratulations on what you have around your neck and what you've accomplished here and leading up to here. It's been quite an extraordinary story. Really appreciate it. Thank you.